The Gobi Desert, known to those who inhabit it as the Yellow Dragon, covers a vast expanse of over 1 million kilometers squared, over 15% of China's landmass. It continues to spread as the world's fifth largest desert grows by 1,000 kilometers squared each year. In China's northern region, in Inner Mongolia, Li Hongjun carves out a difficult life in this hostile environment. Li Hongjun and his mother have adapted to life in the desert. Their ancestors lived here for generations before them, eking out a living in this harsh environment. But despite their acclimatization, Li's wife and daughter have left for the town. The inhabitants of the Gobi Desert are leaving in ever greater numbers. The Chinese state has come to the aid of these climate change refugees by putting in place the world's largest relocation program. Today, it houses over 300,000 Chinese. The town of Miao Miao, on the outskirts of the desert, has a population of 7,000. It is part of a network of 200 artificial villages built by the state. Mamin and her family have lived here for four years. Twice a week, the inhabitants come to buy goods from the village market, a novel experience for this family. The villagers of Miao Miao are originally from the Xiaegu Plateau, one of the most inhospitable places on Earth. In recent years, this region has been hit by drought, prompting a mass exodus. In their new village, the inhabitants must adapt to the new way of life. Lachim <laughs> Mamin's family were once farmers, 
But now they must make do with the odd jobs that come their way. Employed on construction sites or on collective farms, they earn about a dozen dollars a day. Despite the precarious living situation, Mamin regrets nothing. A total of 400 million Chinese could fall victim to the desert's expansion. But in the north, the countryside is not the only region affected by the encroaching sands. A mere 80 kilometers from the Gobi Desert, Peking and its 21 million inhabitants are also suffering as the Gobi expands. Sandstorms hit the city several times a year, creating a dense and heavily polluted smog. In the business heart of the city, one citizen has made it his mission to inform the population about the deteriorating air quality. His instrument, a mobile phone camera. For four years, Zhu Yi has taken a picture every morning from the window of his apartment. Since the start of the year, the engineer has taken 500,000 photos from the window of his lounge, which he then posts on social media, where several thousand people follow him every day. In his posts, he discusses the pollution, the smog and the sandstorms, topics which remain somewhat taboo in China. And finally, China is being blasted by its worst sandstorm in years, causing widespread chaos to sectors from traffic to industry. Zhu Yi has been campaigning to open up the debate around environmental issues in China and believes that recent years have seen a more honest discourse around this subject taking place, which is a crucial step towards making any lasting change. Some citizens have taken matters into their own hands to try and restore the desert's ecosystem. Nicknamed the Sand Warriors, they are doing what they can to fight back against the increasingly arid conditions. In Kubuchi, east of the Gobi, an NGO specializing in restoring natural environments has made it its mission to transform the dunes into an oasis of green. Han Mei Fei, the lead scientist on the project, has a simple solution, plant more trees. Go after 30 years of hard work and $500 million worth of investment, Park Kubuchi has spread its golf courses and pastures over more than 6,000 square kilometers. 
In their labs, Mr. Han's team are not content with merely stopping the arid desert from spreading. They want to repopulate it. Their ultimate goal is to render the land fertile. This 最适合在沙漠生长的马铃薯。这个事情呢，咱们的这个草莓，在沙利用沙培养，就是在沙漠周边利用这个昼夜蒙茶大。沙漠不是这个昼夜蒙茶大吗？培养就是含糖量最高的